Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. X squared plus 4 to the power of 2 equals 36. Okay, the first thing that I want us to do is to square both sides. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. Okay, we take the square root of both sides rather x squared plus 4. You know, it was raised to the power of 2 before. So on the other side, we have plus or minus square root of 36. Now, so many of my students have asked, why is it that we have plus or minus on the other side? It is because, just take a look at this, if you have um, if you have um, minus 2 to the power of 2, this will still give us plus 4, right? And then if you have 2 also to the power of 2, it will still give us 4, right? And then this means that square root of this 4, will give us, can either give us minus 2, and then square root of the same 4 can give us plus 2. So that's why every time you take square root of both sides, on the other side, you're going to have plus or minus, right? So that's what we are saying. Now, this is not part of the work, just to explain. From here, this square root and the square will go. So we have x squared plus 4 on the left. And that will be equal to plus or minus. Square root of 36 is 6. Now we have two values. One is positive and the other is negative. So we're having two equations. The first equation is x squared plus 4 equals 6. Right? This is the first equation. And then the second, let me do it on the other side. The second will be x squared plus 4 equals minus 6. And then from here, our x squared will be equal to 6 minus 4. Then on this side, x squared will be equal to minus 6 minus 4 x squared is equal to 2, then x squared on this side is equal to minus 10. What do we do? We square both sides again so that we can have um, so that we can have um, the value of x. So we find square root of x squared, then plus or minus square root of 2. We do the same thing here, square root of x squared is equal to plus or minus and we have square root of minus 10. Now on this side this will go so that x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2. And on this side this will still go with this. So x is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 10. Mind you because we're having negative square root it makes this impossible. But since we want to bring out all the solutions, we are going to simplify this. Now from here, our x is equal to root 2 or minus root 2. That's what we have on this side. Then on this side, x is equal to root negative 10 or minus root negative 10. Okay, so this is what we have. And then from here, we already have what we, we are looking for. But we can bring out this negative from there, since it's making it impossible to get the value of root minus 10. Um, I mean, this negative will make it impossible for calculator to get the value of this. So what do we do? x will be to bring out this negative. We can have root 10 
times root negative 1, right? Or on this side, we have negative root 10 times square root of negative 1. Because if we multiply this, it will give us this. Then if you multiply this and this, it will give us this. Now we have x to be equal to, now square root of negative 1 is imaginary and we write it as i. So that means we have i times root 10, so it will be i root 10. This is the value. Then on the other side, this is still i. So i times negative root 10 will be negative i root 10. So let's bring the four solutions together. We have x1, that is equal to root 2. We have x2, and it's equal to negative root 2. Then we have x3, that is from here. Where is that? Okay, this is our x3. We have um, i root 10. Then we equally have our x4. And is equal to negative i root 10. So by this, we have solved the equation completely. Thank you for watching.